We need a taxi. Nijamuddin. Yeah, the train station. Railway station. How much? 300. 300? Uh, we can't we can't do more than 200. 200. 200. We need a ticket for Agra? Thank you, sir. Welcome to India. I'm just about to get on a train to Agra from Delhi. If you watched my last video, I explored New Delhi, Old Delhi, the chaotic Delhi. And now we're on our way to see the Taj Mahal. Just picked up some samosas and get to get on the train now. If you government prepared by auto rickshaw man, it's one to train both of you and they're directly. Oh yeah. So what do you want to do? Um, I kind of just want to go out to the street and find somebody who's not like following us everywhere and yelling at us. Hello sir, you need Tuk Tuk? Which place you go? Really close to the Taj Mahal. Okay, 150 together. 100. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello everybody. Okay, after a very chaotic travel day, we just arrived at Joey's Hostel in Agra, which actually has a rooftop view of the Taj Mahal. We literally just checked in. It's about to be sunset. So the receptionist said that there is like a sunset walk. Everybody goes along the river and whatever and sees the views of the Taj Mahal. So it will be my first time seeing it and I'm very, very excited. And then we'll go into the park or into the whole thing tomorrow morning for sunset or for sunrise. Let's go. Let's go see the Taj. Wait, I'm really nervous. Well, no river walk. He told us. He told us ten minutes when he showed us our room, and it must have been like not even five minutes later. And we went up to the rooftop, and they were gone. And then we just asked, and he was like, "Oh yeah, we left right after I dropped you off." Oh well, so we're gonna walk around, but way less chaotic than Delhi, and then get some food. Uh, just one tea. One tea. You do you have tea? Yes, yes, I've tried. The reusable. Yes. Oh, okay, good. 20 rupees only. Okay. Please take care. Okay, thank you. And you want some tea? No, thank you. This is masala chai with kullar, very nice. Indian tea for this one. Very nice this one. You try also. You drink one time? He'll try it. Yeah, I'll, yeah. If not, I'll drink it. Yes, no one else. We're getting some chai. Try to bring Alex into the mood, so I'm getting him chai too. And if he doesn't want it, I'll drink it. I think I found the secret to getting all the hustlers off your back. Just start filming them. Because like two seconds before I started filming, everybody was coming up to us like, just have a look, just have a look, come have a look. Souvenirs, postcards, magnets, everything. Just 20 rupees over and over and over again. And then I started filming them and everybody was quiet and didn't even like, barely looked at me. Problem solved. <laughs> That's why I'm saying try something different. Not, if yeah. you try the same one, it's not making sense. Thank you. Okay. Hello. We just come to a restaurant that I read about on the Lonely Planet, like India guy. 
It looks very local. And the guide was so nice, like helping us out, deciding what to try. Now we're going up on the rooftop. We just had a super, super good dinner. Very spicy. Then we had dessert, but we dug in too fast that I forgot to film it, but it was super good. We had gulab jamun, raj malai, both super good, both very traditional. Give them a go, give them a try. But I suggest the place that we went to. Pretty affordable. It was a thousand rupees for like two curries, rice, two servings of garlic naan, and two desserts, and a coke. Pretty good. Now we're just trying to find some mosquito spray with DEET in it. We didn't get any kind of malaria pills or dengue fever prevention pills or stuff like that. So we want to find good mosquito spray. We already have two. We already ran out of one, but we need DEET. So if you're coming to India, bring your own mosquito spray, bring a lot of it, and bring some with high DEET. Hello. Hello. Do you have mosquito spray with DEET? Is it too dark? Can you see me? Good morning, everybody. It's literally 5 a.m. and I don't think I've ever been this excited for something at 5 a.m. We got up really early because the gates open at 6. We just wanted to be like the first ones there and we needed tickets so we don't know how long the line is. But I'm super, super, super excited. So let's go to the Taj Mahal. We are in fact the very first ones in the ticket counter. We just entered through the Eastern Gate and we're walking through the tunnel now. I literally just started crying <laughs> because if you didn't know, I mentioned in my Delhi vlog that I was here in India like six or seven years ago and there was like a problem with my flight and stuff and I never got to see the Taj Mahal. Like my 15 year old self was very, very upset and I just never thought that I would come back. And here I am. Oh my gosh, it's insane. You know, a lot of people say that it's really underwhelming. But for me, this is very overwhelming <laughs> because it's somewhere I've been wanting to come to for such a long time. But it is also so beautiful. I want to walk up to it now before all the tourists come. We'll go back when the light is up and take photos. I've read a lot about the Taj Mahal. First thing, I've learned that it was built with Hindu and Muslim religion in mind. As well as, if you didn't know, in the 1500s there was an emperor that had multiple wives, many, 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 many kids, and this emperor loved one wife so, so much that she was the love of his life, and she died giving birth to her 14th child. Wow. <laughs> he got really, really depressed for like two years after her passing, and all he could think about was architecture, which is another love of his, and he stopped ruling, and all the people were mad at him because he wouldn't rule, and all he was focusing on was building a memorial, basically, for her. So if you didn't know, the Taj Mahal is actually a tomb. Her body, I think, is in it. But we're going up to see it now. So we've just gone inside. And what I read in the Lonely Planet book about the Taj Mahal is that it's not all white marble on the inside. That it's quite colorful, like there's like a flower design. And each part of like the flower and the plants are from a different place in the world. So they were imported from like Egypt, Turkey, all over the world. There's like emeralds and rubies and everything. It's really, really pretty. There was also theories that when the Taj was built, he, the king, the emperor, was very old at the time. So he thought that he wanted to be in a tomb as well. So he started planning to build a tomb on the other side of the river, right across from his beloved with a black version of the Taj Mahal having a bridge connect them with the white and black marble. But I think that he was like too old at the time or he died early or something like that. So they decided to bury him right next to his love. The most loved wife was in the center of the dome, in the very, very center of the tomb. And then he was planted right beside her, 30 meters underground, under the tomb. Oh, 30 feet. Oh, 35 feet, not meters. As we had just like come up first thing, now it's the other part of the whole plaza is getting really filled, but we have this whole back area to ourselves, and we have like the inside completely to ourselves. It was a really small inside. There was like only one little roundabout, one exit. So it could get probably really crowded and it was really warm at 5.30 or 6 a.m.
Christmas.